The Dozier School for Boys bill um, would do a lot, I think. It's not a claims bill. It doesn't compensate the families for what may or may not have happened at that school. What it does, though, is it allows those families to have a measure of peace. It allows them to do a proper burial for their, their, their loved one, um, up to $7,500 the state would pay for, to bury and to allow for a ceremony of their choosing um, for their loved one. Um, and that's the right thing to do. This is, I think, above any type of policy or partisan politics. At the end of the day, the boys were in the state care. And when all of this occurred for many years, families didn't know. They were told their children had run away. And here's an opportunity, thanks to Senator Joyner. Uh, this is her idea, and I, I was happy to champion it in the House. But here's an opportunity to provide a measure of peace, dignity, and respect back to those families by allowing them to conduct the funeral service. So what happened at Dozier? You know, um, if you've heard any or seen any of the reports, um, you, you've heard from the White House boys, you've heard about, you know, the allegations of torture, the allegations of beatings and death. I mean, you know, FDLE is still investigating. The cabinet saw the final report from Dr. Kimberly a couple of weeks ago and basically apologized for what occurred. Um, you know, I'm no forensics expert, but if I had to narrow it down, there were boys who were left in the state's care and these boys ended up dead and their families weren't aware because they were told they had run away. That's wrong and this bill doesn't fix that. But what it does do is allow those families to have some measure of closure and it's a good start.